Hello and welcome. Now in this video we are going to work with the insert menu and we're going to work with the media submenu. Now we can add video, audio, or screen recording and we're going to do all three in this video. So to do that we're going to add in a slide. And we're going to place our cursor where we want the slide to be. We're just going to pick a blank slide. We're going to add it here. And we're going to start by working with the video menu. And you can add in an online video. And so if you click this link, you're going to have two choices. You can then place a YouTube video here. And when you place the YouTube video inside of your PowerPoint presentation, you aren't actually placing the actual video. You're going to be placing a link in that video. And when you do your presentation or the person clicks on the link, they're going to be taken to that YouTube video or they're going to be able to watch it inside of your PowerPoint presentation. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to search for the subject that you want there to be. And we might write in PowerPoint. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to take the very first one and we're going to click insert. And that's going to give you the ability to put a link to this video inside of your PowerPoint presentation. Of course, we can make this as large as we want. Place this where on the screen that we actually want it. Of course, if we click on the link, we can delete the video from this page. Going back to our insert menu, going back to the video setting, what we can do is we can then click on online video again and what we can do then is we can paste an embed code. So for example, if you have an embed code from a video, you can then place that embed code inside of this box and it will appear then on your PowerPoint presentation and then the person who clicks on the actual link, they'll be able to watch the video inside your presentation. But once again, they will not have the actual video they'll be watching it to the internet. So they will need to have an internet connection in order to experience the video. Now what you can also do is you can place an actual video inside your PowerPoint presentation. Now when you do this and you grab a video from your PC, that video will then be part of your presentation. So this is going to make your PowerPoint presentation much larger in size because it will have the actual video depending on how large it is in the presentation. So we're going to grab a video from our PC. Once that video is in our screen, you're going to notice we have the controls here. We can size it down and we can have it to appear however we want it to be. Now again, you're going to have available to you the picture menu, but you're going to have video tools. So you can control the nature of the playback. You can control the nature of the format by using the controls that you get when you have the video highlighted. And we can undertake the same process with audio. So for example, if we go to the audio menu, we can pick up audio from our PC. And what will happen is there will be a player on this particular slide. And when we're doing our presentation, we'll be able to click on this part of the slide and have the audio play. And you'll see that here when it's in slideshow presentation, we'll click there. And then you'll notice that the video will play. We can also record an audio and we can click this link inside of our presentation. And then when we click this red button, we're then going to be able to record audio that will place a sound link inside of our PowerPoint presentation. So we're going to click this button and say that now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their country. We click OK. You'll notice then that we have then again the button. Then to get rid of it, all we would need to do is click delete. Now finally, one other thing that you can do inside of your PowerPoint presentation is to record your screen. And you can do that by clicking the screen recording button. And what you're going to do then is you're going to select the area that you're going to record or demonstrate. And when you're ready, then you would then click the record button. 
and once the video is completed its recording you'll then have the video available to be sized inside of your presentation now, again this is going to be a video that will be inside of your presentation and will make your video larger in size okay so with that thanks and i will see you in another video